Hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. The Indian Space Research Organization, or ISRO, is one among the leading space research organizations of the world. It was the brainchild of Dr. Vikram Sarabhai. ISRO built India's first satellite, Aryabhata. It was launched from Kapushtin Yar in the Soviet Union on 19th April 1975. It was named after the mathematician Aryabhata. India realized that depending on foreign powers to launch its satellites was not very feasible due to diplomatic reasons. So they decided to start their own vehicle launch program. The first launch vehicle of ISRO was the SLV or the Satellite Launch Vehicle. It was first launched in the year 1979. The SLV was a very basic launch vehicle which was able to carry a small payload of 40 kgs to lower Earth orbit. The vehicle was entirely powered by solid fuel. The rocket was used to carry the Rohini satellite to low Earth orbit. There was a total of four attempts made for the launch, out of which only the second and final launches were completely successful. This rocket was decommissioned in the year 1983 in favor of a much more powerful rocket. The ASLV, which stands for Augmented Satellite Launch Vehicle, replaced the SLV due to its much higher payload capacity. It made its first flight in 1987. The ASLV was able to carry small payloads of up to 150 kgs to lower Earth orbit of up to 400 kilometers. ASLV was used to launch the stretched Rohini satellite series to orbit around the Earth over a span of seven years from 1987 to 1994. The construction and the propulsion system of the ASLV are similar to the SLV. Just like the name suggests, the ASLV used augmented solid boosters to increase its range and capacity. Of the four total launches by the ASLV, only one was successful in launching the payload to a stable orbit. The SLV and the ASLV are both decommissioned and not used anymore. The two were replaced by a much bigger and powerful polar satellite launch vehicle. The PSLV was developed by ISRO due to necessity. It was developed to launch India's remote sensing satellite. Up until the development of the PSLV, all of India's satellites were launched only by Russia. The PSLV was developed as ISRO realized the importance of India having its own indigenous launcher. The PSLV had its first flight in the year 1993, but the mission was a total failure as it was not able to reach full orbit due to failure in the second stage of the rocket. The following year, a second PSLV was launched to carry the IRS or Indian Remote Sensing Satellite to lower Earth orbit. Although the PSLV started with a rough start, the launcher had a very good safety rating. The PSLV has been in service for over two decades. Of the 50 launches by the PSLV, only two complete failures have occurred as of date. Due to the unmatched reliability and safety, the PSLV earned its title the workhorse of ISRO. This is because of the extremely simple yet flexible design of the rocket. Unlike many Western and Russian rockets, the PSLV does not solely depend on cryogenic fuels in its main stage. PSLV is a four-stage launch vehicle with the first and third stage using solid rocket motors and the second and fourth stages using liquid rocket engines. If you're not sure what a liquid and solid engine are, stay tuned. We'll be uploading videos on them soon. The rocket also uses strap-on solid boosters to augment the thrust provided by the first stage and depending on the number of these strap-on boosters, the PSLV is classified into its various versions like core alone version, PSLV CA, PSLV G and PSLV XL. Because of these modifications, the PSLV proved to be a highly versatile rocket capable of launching a wide variety of payloads. The PSLV was also responsible for carrying many notable payloads of ISRO, like India's first lunar probe, the Chandrayaan-1, India's first interplanetary mission, the Mars Orbiter mission, or the Mangalyaan, and also India's first space observatory, the Astrostat. In the next video, we'll be talking about the other launch vehicles that are used by ISRO. Stay tuned, we'll meet again in the next one. Until then, bye.